with us a great patriot, one who more than anyone else helped establish Mexican freedom. He has a message of vital importance for us. Gentlemen, Benito Juarez. Thank you, Governor. Fellow citizens, our fight has not ended. It is just beginning. Failure already threatens our republic, and we are not yet six months old. Our republic still has internal enemies, selfish, unscrupulous, callous men. We need loyal men, and we need gold to establish our foreign credit. Your San Mandalito mine is the richest in Mexico. Its gold helped win the revolution. Its gold must now help fill the empty treasury of our new nation. In your hands alone rests the fate of our newborn democracy. As governor, I assure you, Mexico's destiny is safe in San Mendolito's hands. And you, Pablo, as Chief Justice, do you find our new laws suitable to your local conditions? Why, yes, only they're much more lenient than the old code. Gonzalez, we are depending on you as manager of the mine to ship gold regularly. Regularly, Juarez. Comandante Manuel, when does the gold train leave? Within the hour. I will have to leave now, gentlemen. No, no. Francisco will see me to my quota. Goodbye. 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 There may be trouble with the Yaquis, Juarez. Something to do with an idol of which you were telling me before the meeting? Yes. A three-century-old Yaqui idol, god of gold. It's called Don Del Oro and is reported to be rousing the Indians against him. It will be a catastrophe, Francisco. This Don DeLauro incites the Yaquis to attack the gold train. Don't worry. I've organized a group of patriots to combat any such difficulty. I'm sure you will be able to handle the situation. I will keep you fully informed. Goodbye. Goodbye. Francisco's been having a long talk with Juarez. What of it? It's up to you, Manuel, to do your part. Don't worry about me, Felipe. You have to worry about Francisco and Juarez. Francisco and Juarez. How can they interfere with our plan? To Don Deloro's success. Don Deloro. Don Deloro. Don Deloro.
Brunero. Don DeLoro. Yankees! Get back there! proves conclusively that Don DeLoro is no legend. Undoubtedly, someone's using the ancient Yaqui idol to control the tribe. Then why not destroy this idol, this Don DeLoro? No. Even trying it might start an Indian uprising throughout Mexico. I can't ship any more gold as long as these Yaquis are on the warpath. I haven't enough men to guard the trade. Governor, there are plenty of men in San Mendelito willing to guard the trains. Don DeLauro or no Don DeLauro, our Republic's need for gold must be supplied. I suppose you can get the extra guards for the trains. I have a group of men already organized. There's a gold train scheduled to leave in the morning. I'll send it through. You're responsible for its safety. Gentlemen, I accept that responsibility. Come, Raymond. We must get to the cantina. Cantina. Don Francisco. To your help, sir. You whip those Yankees. And I'll help you do it. Enroll me in your army. But I'm not recruiting any army. The talk of San Mendelito. I'm sorry, Rodriguez, but my men are already chosen. My sword is not good enough for you. <laughs> Gentlemen, defend themselves.
saved my life, Uncle. You are Diego Vega? Yes. There is so little time. Listen to me carefully. You must take my place on the council. As my nephew, you will meet with opposition. Ramon will explain everything. Watch the counselors. Don Deloro is... is... Quick! Don Delora signal. The usual place. Hurry. The signal. Forget it. I'm tired of playing servant to Don Deloro. Let's finish the game. Here, my friends, is the winning card. The death agent. Sebastian, remember the lesson. No man can stop me from using the Yaquis to keep gold out of Mexico City. Then, when I force the Republic into bankruptcy, I'll strike, found an empire, become its emperor. Martinez, have you managed to join Francisco's organization yet? Yes, but since his death, nothing has been done. I may be able to find out something about their plans. I must hurry to the hacienda to meet Francisco's nephew, who is arriving from California tonight. Oh, but you're not late, Don Felipe. My nephew hasn't arrived yet. He and Ramon should be here any minute now. You seem very impatient, Lolita. I confess. I can hardly wait to meet him. <laughs> you understand? Neither Volita nor I have ever seen Diego. You're all very interested in him. Good evening, Felipe. Good evening, Felipe. Uh, you're just in time. Dona Maria, your nephew, Don Diego Vega. Coming, Ramon, coming. How many times, Juan, must I tell you? Master before seven. Here I am at last, Ramon. Welcome, nephew. Diego, this is my ward, Bolita, Ramon's sister. She also welcomes you. Charm. Our problem is solved. We don't have to fear Francisco's nephew. 
Yes, and I'm inclined to think he may be useful. We are very pleased to have you with us, Don Diego. I hope you had a pleasant journey. Oh, hardly pleasant. It was fatiguing. Very fatiguing. A council appointment, perhaps. Francisco's friends will be flattered by it, and yet weakened. Yes. I'm sure he'll make an ideal counselor. Now, if you'll excuse us, I'll introduce Diego to the others. Certainly. The saints protect us. Oh, stop. If he could only have been like Francisco's description of him. But Ramon assured me that I wouldn't have to take Francisco's place on the council. Thinking bored you. Oh, but Don Diego, I must insist. If you, my governor, insist, then I suppose it's my duty to be a counselor. Your patriotic duty. Raymond will advise you. The gold train's departure was postponed out of respect for Francisco. But now, it leaves at dawn. The scheme's worked so far. Nobody's going to suspect that Zorro and Diego are one and the same person. And they've even made you a counselor. So far, so good. Are you ready? Yes, and I'll have Francisco's men at the old mission by midnight. Men, we have been inactive since Francisco's death. Now we must prepare for action. Well, who will lead us? Zorro. We are Zorro's fighting legion. Patriots, you all know the purposes for which Francisco asked you to band together. Traitors must perish. Law must be enforced. Our republic must prosper. As your new leader, I hope to achieve these purposes in spite of all danger, all opposition. Are you willing to follow me? Yes! Thank you. Now I ask you to repeat your oath with me. I solemnly swear to uphold the Republic of Mexico. I solemnly swear to uphold the Republic of Mexico. With my sword and with my life. With my sword and with my life. I will be loyal and always strive to be a worthy member of this fighting legion. I will be loyal and in all ways strive to be a worthy member of this fighting legion. Another gold train is on its way to Mexico City. It's our task to see that it arrives there safely. Legion are guarding the gold train. Zorro and Tarmac and his Yankees can't get the gold. We still got a chance to get it. There's enough time to get to the pass ahead of the train. Martinez now go meet Tarmac.
You can get through now, Sergeant. Take the gold to Mexico City. I'm going back and report to the council. On your way, men! Get back to your horses and follow the gold train. Keep them in sight, but don't let them see you. I'm going to follow the Yankees. They may lead me to Don Delora. Martinez here warned us, and we set a trap for the gold train at the pass. This will stop the gold train right where we want it. Come on. Comes the gold train. Oh, we're just in time. Set your torch. Hey. 